Are you a Battlestar Galactica fan of the remake from 2004? Well today we're going to talk about the Colonial Mark II Viper. We're going to print this and we're going to get it on our shelf. If you're interested, join me inside as we take you through Kira and getting it printed. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are going to be taking a look at this model that was out on Thingiverse that is a really awesome model of the Colonial Viper Mark II. Now, as you guys can see, I've started doing some painting with it. Um, a lot of this is actually just primer, but it's a really great model because just the ship alone, now, of course, I enlarge it, has a significant, significantly beautiful detail for what it is. So, uh, the Mark II was the first Cylon War in the 2004 series that this was the frontline fighter. Now, of course, as we got to actual Battlestar Galactica, the miniseries and all that, the fighters that you see destroyed, I think, were the Mark VI or Mark VII's, the newer, solid, just gray-looking fighters. But also, the other thing that is awesome about this set is the stand. That is some beautiful artwork that was done on here. So we're gonna go find this on Thingiverse and we're gonna print it. And we're gonna have a lot of fun printing this one because it was actually a really easy print. It's a really great size with some really awesome detail to it. I actually really can't wait to get this thing really kind of streamlined out in the paint. Um, I had a lot of ringing on mine, as you can see. I don't know if it'll show up very well. Um, with the white, but you can see like the lines and stuff like that. Now a lot of that I will sand down. I'm also going to do some resin filling, but I'm going to be honest with you, I wanted a little bit of it because I plan on making this thing look like how they did at the end of the show, where it had been through so much that how is this fighter even still working? Um, I want to make it just look bruised. Now, if you want to see that progression, Join me on my streams on Tuesday nights when I work on these and also help out with 3D printing questions. So join me for that as we do that on the stream, but watch me break it here. Uh, it's kind of one of those things. This is a really cool print. It really goes well. You guys have seen me do the Pegasus, the Mercury class Battlestar Gla Pegasus that comes in there into the show. And I haven't done a video on it yet, but I mean, we even have done the Galactica herself from that series. Or if we really want to do a kickback around here somewhere, if you haven't seen it, go check out the streams where we've actually done the original series Galactica. Now the cool thing too that I loved about this fighter was it has very good callbacks to the original series in the design. Yes, it's a little bit sleeker, a little bit more uh, aerodynamic looking cut than the older one was, but this is just a really pretty design and I want to make sure I share it with you guys. So what we'll do first is we'll go up, we'll go up, we'll get on the uh, computer, we'll slice this in Kira, show it out on Thingiverse, we'll get to the time lapse and then we'll get a closer look at this final product. So see you guys over at the computer. All right guys, so here we are out on Thingiverse. This is the file that we looked at. Um, so like I said, beautiful artwork on that stand. The Viper looks fantastic. Um, so all credit to CKC28. This file was uploaded back in 2019. Um, really great file. Three, three files to this one. One is the stand, which is one piece. Then there is the option of it already with supports and one without supports, which was really cool. So if you're looking to make this one, this is an awesome one to start with. There are a few other ones out there that have different guns. Um, because this one does have the guns tucked back in under the wing where the guns were actually up alongside it. So it's not a completely accurate, but this could be a variant of that one. And what we saw was later on versions. So, but all in all, the detail on this one is fantastic. And it's one of those things, like I said, this one, they painted it up to look brand new. Mine, I plan on making it look like it's been through a lot of bad stuff. Um, not shot up, but just worn the paint it used uh, wear and tear on it. Not uh, not all shot up. So kind of making that distinction here. But this is where you can get it. Link will be down in the description down below. Um, so you can easily go find this. I put 
I try to put all the links down in the descriptions. Sometimes I miss, um, but we're going to use a CR10 V2 to handle this one. So we're going to get into Kira. I've already set it to my CR10. Let's go get my settings up there and let's go get these files. So I already have them. So let's look at the stand first. This will take a moment to load in. And actually, I'm just going to pop them both onto the plate. And I'm going to do the uh, with supports because that's the one I printed. So I'm going to load them both in here. So that'll take a few minutes. And if you guys are enjoying the content that you're finding on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the crew. Um, if you have any questions or anything about that, like a setting or a file on here, or just 3D printing in general, make sure you leave a comment down below. Or out on my page, there is also my email address. So um, we've got a lot of stuff hopefully coming to um, the channel here pretty soon. Some more Battlestar Galactica, I kind of hope. Um, especially as I start digging more and more into resin. Um, because we are starting to see more and more. This is one I'm working on right now. Uh, that I'm, I'm actually kind of getting better with it. So we'll keep working on that. And these should be loading. And they're taking forever. Okay, guys. I apologize about Kira. It crashed. And it's not running great now for some reason either. But that's okay. Because we can get through this with it as it is. Now, I finally got the models on the plate the way I want them. So the Viper itself, this is the with support model. And as you can see, it actually has supports down on the wings and stuff already in place for you. You don't have to do any custom supporting, which makes this model really simple to work with. And the stand itself is actually designed really, really well that it will print with that very minimal support. So in actuality, this is one of the simplest prints I think I have for you guys is pop it on the plate, make sure your bed's level, check your settings, which we're going to cruise or we're going to look at some settings. I have some thicker walls than usual um, because I like to reduce my infill. Um, I use Inland PLA Plus or Pro, I think is what they're changing it to, where now I do my temperatures at about 215 uh, for my nozzle and anywhere between 50 and 60 for my build plate, uh, for build plate adhesion. And then, like I said, support is very minimal here. For what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and give it a raft, give it a little extra plate adhesion for this guy as it is going upward I don't want a wobble to form so I'll go ahead and let that have a raft and probably just a five and this one I won't even use a raft um, we'll let it build right on the plate and it comes out really well so all in all there's not a lot to do to this one um, once you've got your settings your temperatures now if you've been seeing stringing or something like that check your retraction I printed them one at a time I did not print both on the same build plate um, I used two different printers, both were CR10 V2s, but I built them on different machines, printed them separate. So um, one at a time, you can, but then you have the possibility of one getting knocked off or something like that. So um, I recommend one at a time. So all in all, a very simple um, getting it into Kira and getting it going. And if you are curious more in depth about my settings, please feel free to email me about it. Um, so my layer heights and all that stuff. I'm using just a custom profile that I've made for my CR10. So we're going to get this guy sliced. And then we're going to hop over to the printer where you guys will just see the time lapses of the two parts. You'll see the final product, and I'll catch up with you guys at the end.
All right, guys, that's the print. Relatively simple, two print jobs, um, and you get a really good detail model to go on your shelf and to paint and to work on. Now, I've thought about taking this one into resin, but um, just not uh, on the table yet because my Photon Mono X is broken, uh, but we're working on it. Um, it's just an LCD issue, and we'll get that resolved hopefully here and get that printer back up to working so we can get a resin version of this as well, and maybe even take a look at some of the other ones. I've been taking a look at some of the modified ships too, um, possibly considering doing some strange designs that we really didn't see from the show that we've seen in a lot of fan art and stuff. So that's kind of possibly coming, but now here comes the question. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see some off the wall, strange designs? Do you guys have something you'd like to see me try to print and put out here on the channel? If you do, comments down below or feel free to email me at the email address is out on the community page. Gladly take a look at them, see if it's something we can make and want to make. But also just kind of one of those things, if you're new here and you enjoyed the content today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the crew as we are doing all kinds of things. We have streams every Tuesday night. Um, sometimes some streams on nights that I don't announce, I just do. And we've got some new things coming this year with the channel as well that we'll be hopefully sharing with you guys. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed dealing with the Colonial Mark II Viper and hopefully we'll see you guys in the streams and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.